As we delve deeper into the scenic rim, we find some hidden gems. Meet some of the slippery locals whilst waterfall hunting. And finally find something to climb whilst cooling off. Hi, I'm Jess. And I'm Sean. After meeting through our mutual love of travel, we've committed ourselves to designing a life where we can pursue our careers, yet satisfy our cravings for adventures. In season two, we have set those foundations and we're northbound for Queensland. Follow us on our journey as we live full time in our off-grid caravan. And explore all the gems Australia has to offer. Today might be the day that I finally see a flight of books. I still don't believe they exist. It's been years in the making. Mm -hmm. Haven't got my hopes up. Jono and Ian. Nice to meet you both. Yeah. So far, another morning added to the list where I have not seen a flat bus. I don't even know what I'm looking for because every single time we miss them. Or maybe they're right in front of me and I just can't see them. All I can see is lots of little bubbles. How many kilometres have we driven today? Today? Mm -hmm. oh, a few hundred. We've gone from what, farmland through the mountains, rainforests. Now we're at the beach. Oh, not the beach I was expecting. <laughs> you can see the Gold Coast. You cold yet? Not cold at all. It's green everywhere. You the best of all look out in Springbrook National Park. And that's the actual name. It's called the best of all lookout. So over on that ridge line is the border between New South Wales and Queensland. Tweed Heads, Kingscliff, the Willumba is that town there. On the clouds is Byron Bay, you can just see. This whole rim is of an ancient volcano. Mount Warning was the center. One of the locals just said the only time they get traffic jams around here 
is for this reason. <laughs> I always find these quite interesting. It's the Aboriginal names and meanings. So this is Purling Brook Falls. Pretty interesting, like all this rock, this is all rhyolite, and that's why you have a different kind of forest on top. So that's all eucalypts on the top part of the plateau. And then underneath is all rainforest. And that's because you can kind of see at the base of the waterfall that's all basalt. There's a layer of basalt below all that. The waterfall is constantly eroding that area and spreading all those minerals throughout the, you know, where the river goes, creating a whole different ecosystem down there. Thriving living landscape. Times I've stranded, a castaway, and I'm now sure of no stranger in this content. I'm always in blue for you, always in. stay in there now we're heading north we've been sort of crisscrossing a bit the last couple of days going to the national parks but now we're in for good I just pulled up in a place called Mount Alford. It's a beautiful little country town surrounded by all these mountains. Um, just staying at the pub for free out in this grassy field. Whenever we pull up at a new place, I like to go around and just check that everything's still in one piece. Um, I did notice over here there's a little rubber seal that had popped out slightly from the window and this water has gotten into the frame and there's some stainage on the inside um, so that was one issue and then another issue i've noticed is this bracket for the gas strut the rivets have come loose with all the rattling and travel or even just from opening and closing so just gotta replace a couple of rivets there simple uh, that's all i've found so far Driving out to Mount Barney National Park to check out this incredible mountain. So we're at Mount Barney National Park. 
and we just got to the lower portals trail uh, it's a 7.4 K return hike and we start here go all the way up here and there should be a swimming hole somewhere there so that's it looks like you're heading kind of northeast right so whole time I'm thinking northeast I got you know the mountain and the sun in my head which way is which then you look at the key and north is that way <laughs> so the whole thing should be like this so you're actually heading west why i just don't get it did you know your boots could be carrying a silent killer Doing some pathogen control. So the trail's clearly been affected by all the floods, all the rain we've had in the last few months on the east coast of Australia. The creek crossings mentioned. But lucky there hasn't been a lot of rain lately, so it's not too full. Don't tell my physio moment number <laughs> five. It's good fun, some slopers, a little slippery. It's gonna be cold. wet though. <laughs> Bit of free soloing in the bikini. <laughs> Don't tell my physio moment number six. <laughs> Still got it. I'm freezing but this is amazing. As you can see, the walk isn't that spectacular. Kind of through burnt forest, pretty open. Didn't see much wildlife. But the destination was iconic. Yeah, incredible. Definitely worth coming out here. Now it is a bit of a shame sometimes with the timing that we're here. You know, with my knee Rico still healing. You can't do things like on Mount Maroon there, there's one of Queensland's longest multi-pitches. It's meant to be like a, a classic, is it 300 and something meters? Yeah, 15 pitches. 15 pitch climb up the face of that mountain, which would be a, a fantastic day out for both of us. Something we'd both love to do. Not necessarily a hard climb, but just a sort of fun day out. 
But then also on the mountain next to us, Mount Barney, there's a pretty hardcore um, hike to the top. I think it's like nine hours just to the top. Well, it's got a reputation because of um, multiple rescues and even fatalities because uh, people underestimate how hard it is. But uh, we like those sort of challenges. <laughs> you need um, exceptional fitness. Yeah, exceptional fitness. You need um, like orienteering skills. So you need to be able to read a map and a compass, um, all those sort of things. But uh, there's stuff that we would normally tackle. As much as we love our caravan, you know, sometimes it's nice to get back to the basics. You know, we've loved camping all the time we've been together getting away, having a fire, cooking on the fire. So it's nice to sort of get back into the basics. So a little fire going under the potatoes there. Gonna do some smashed potatoes with like a cauliflower cheesy sauce. Hopefully they turn out all right. So I've been planning this little adventure, taking the kayak across the lake, camping and then doing the summit. But found the spot we're gonna take off from and it seems like camping's still closed due to COVID restrictions. So gotta find something else to do. Hmm. come up with a new adventure plan. So today we've pretty much just driven around through these country towns, achieved nothing. But one thing that's really made it true blue is this radio station, 98.9. It's um, still a country song, it's really set the theme for today. Love it. I don't know a word to any song, but it's good. So this is Lake Mugara, and Mugara means place of storms in the indigenous language. Which ironically, last night there was a massive storm in this area, there's lightning going on everywhere. That so seems to be still accurate. Day for it. Exploring some deep water soloing options. Oh, <laughs> they're, just, they're sliding off. So I've been seeing all these creatures out of the corner of our eye and they jump in the water when we get near them, but we never quite see what they are. Turns out they're turtles. So we need to be quiet. So all the turtles are sunbaking on the rocks on the shore. This is meant to be a waterfall, but it's just a dribble at the moment. There we go, shouldn't go anywhere. <laughs> nice. <laughs> First climb in five months. Yeah, you're doing it. You're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Our next episode features our most daring adventure yet. Amongst the deep rainforest on southeast Queensland's highest peak, we search for a crashed bomber from the 1950s. And we head to Brisbane for some social connection with friends.